Well, hello, everybody, and almost good afternoon, like a minute away or so, but I uh, thought we'd uh, at least uh, let you know that we're here, and we're excited to have you join us for another session. Uh, we'll uh, begin in a moment, so please stand by. We're just waiting for a couple more people to uh, log in. So we'll probably go at like 12.02, uh, my time, which is East Coast time. Um, I know some folks are out in the, the West, and some folks are even further East than, than, uh, than I am which I'm still getting used to. And we'll just dismiss that little announcement. Good. So just hang tight, folks. We'll begin in a moment. All right, I think we're ready to begin here. Uh, so let's uh, go ahead and get started. Um, thank you for being here. I am Greg Aleveris. I'm with Horizon. I'm in their business development group and I am been a longtime Arquebus aficionado. I'm here to discuss Archibus product capability and share experiences with broad functionality that Archibus contains. So I hope you enjoy these sessions. This is our fifth one. So let me go ahead and get started here. So before we begin, we're actually gonna do something a little bit different this time. Uh, as we're always trying to continuously improve the process, we are gonna send out a survey to you right now It'll appear in the chat window, um, which is uh, should light up and, and give you a little uh, notification that it's there. Just click on the link and fill out the survey. Should be no more than five minutes, I would think, to do it. But again, we're looking for your feedback on, on ways that we can improve and how effective this program is. And uh, be sure to get your response in. And when you're finished, you know, just jump right back in and we'll get started. So I'll go until about 12.07 or so. So go ahead and click on the link and uh, fill in the survey.
All right, just and I think we're going to have to go ahead and get started. Um, we'll try this uh, again. I'm going to go ahead and disable my uh, camera now. And let's uh, pick it up. So back to the presentation. Thank you, everybody. So today, um, you know, we're going to do the same pattern we've been doing for the last uh, few sessions. Um, you know, we'll start with the question of the day. We'll review some key topics around back to work. Uh, Archibus has some neat tools around planning how the employees will return. Uh, we'll review some of the workforce enablement capabilities, and we'll also talk about some things that you can do to uh, adjust your plans as uh, people come back to the office. As is uh, stated before, when we do our webinars, we are starting with everybody on mute to, to help maintain uh, um, audio control of the situation. At the completion of the presentation, we will open the meeting for questions. Um, you can submit your questions via presentation in the question box, which appears um, in the control panel, or you can raise your hand and, and we can unmute you. And I think what we might actually do this time is uh, literally unmute everybody and maybe just open it up for conversation. So we'll see how that goes. And then, um, just to remind everybody, what are we here doing? We're obviously showcasing Archibus and its capabilities. We, you know, we have some knowledge and experience that we want to share with you, and we hope we can learn from you as well. We want to, you know, open this up so that we are engaging with the Archibus users, as well as getting users to work with each other over time. And we are providing a library of content that we are sharing via our YouTube channel. And at the end of the day, you know, we want to build a forum where we can all work together to enhance our experience with Archibus. So today, you know, one of the questions obviously is, what can I do as a facilities manager to ensure my employees feel safe returning to an office environment part time? So we'll we'll kind of address that as we go along. So if we take a look at where most of us are today with Archibus, we have good, you know, situational awareness. We understand how our space is being assigned to the various departments. That's something we should all be doing by now. And we should all have a clear understanding of the different types of space, whether it's workstations or offices or meeting rooms or anything else along those lines. And most importantly, how well the space is being occupied. And many of us have even tried working in agile environments, so we might be working more towards a team or neighborhood style environments, but at the end of the day, we need to understand how we're utilizing space. And this is what Archibus gives us uh, to start with. Now, part of you know any successful program is how we engage with employees. And one of those things we wanna do is make sure that there's a good mobile interface for them to work with that's simple, easy, intuitive uh, to understand. And Archibus has done a good job of introducing the workplace portal. Uh, and again, this is just a refresher where the idea is that it has a responsive design. So whether you're on your phone or your tablet, you'll be able to get the same kind of experience and provide, ask the kinds of services that you need. In this case, maybe booking a desk on the floor plan. So why do we want to improve employee engagement? Well, we certainly have a lot of information that we should make accessible to them. And in this read-only fashion, it's very easy. We can certainly attach photos of, of things for them to uh, show. So if they have something they wanna point out to us, a simple photo from the device is very useful. And what's neat about a lot of these mobile technologies 
is they do a lot of speech to text kind of uh, translations. So they can literally dictate the message that they want and send it off to you. Now, the nice thing is it's not just a simple matter of you know, inputting the request, but it's also following how things are going. So in some cases, it might be what's going on with all the requests that I submitted, what's the current status, and has the ticket or the item that I've requested been completed. And this all can be done from mobile, cutting down on the uh, volume of emails that they may have to check in on. And then in some cases, the employees can access a very simple dashboard that gives them a consolidated view of all the interactions for their bookings, their conference room schedules, their work ticket requests, the move requests, et cetera. And it also gives them the same ability to submit new tickets. So that is kind of a backdrop for what we can do for return to work. Let's talk about planning. What does that mean for us? Because obviously not everybody is coming back into the office. And in some cases, people still haven't opened up their offices. So what can we do to make sure that we get the best out of the space that we have and accommodate all the guidelines that we're trying to meet from regulations as well as just good safe practices for our employees. So what are some of those things that people need to be doing? One of course is managing capacity. Certainly, especially if you're in the early stages, you probably want no more than 25% of your employees in the office at any one time to help maintain you know, safe dis distances and a clean work environment. And then as time goes on, you might increase it to 50, 60%, who knows? And eventually, if, if you know, we get to a stage of a good uh, vaccine, we can get up to closer to 100%. But we've learned a lot from what's been happening. And part of that, of course, is that employees do like working from home. And it is something feasible that our organizations can do. So in order to do that, one of the things we can do is maybe schedule what days people are in the office, space them out a little bit, set up alternating work schedules. Some people on Mondays and Wednesdays, others on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And again, these are just ideas that will help control how much space is needed at any given time and achieve some of those capacity requirements. Of course, one of the key things that we've learned, you know, time and time again is manage social distancing. You know, as a minimum, we probably want a three foot radius or a six foot diameter uh, between employees and of course, if you can go larger, it's certainly more effective for you, then you certainly want to do so. That way we can help reduce the spread of that. We also want to maintain a clean, safe environment, which means, you know, what do we need to do to make sure that the employees have masks? Or are we providing them? Are we providing sanitary, you know, sanitizing type equipment to make sure that they keep a, keep a clean place? And are, what can we do to maintain uh, all the common areas like the kitchen areas, the meeting rooms, the restrooms where there's a lot of traffic, maintain a, sanit a sanitary safe environment. And then the other thing is since we don't know who's gonna be in the office when, one of the things we might do is switch to more of a, a booking system, in which case we need to make it easy for them to book workspaces, which is why we reviewed what we did a few moments ago. So first thing we want to do is start planning for employees returning to the office. And there's a lot of ways that we can do that. And Archibus has done some nice things to help us. One way is, of course, to designate th those people in the office. So which days will they be there and which employees will be in those specific days? And then match that up to any social distancing requirements so that there is no con uh, concentrated area of employees that can help uh, increase the spread of COVID. The other is just general work to uh, return to work information. You know, a lot of employees are different. Some will be uh, critical to the operation and need to be there almost all the time. Others might be able to come back in phases so that they can return to work, um, you know, in the first weeks of, of opening the office or maybe after the first quarter, depending on, again, you know, what your process is. I've talked to a lot of customers and, and they've come up with some very inventive ways of, of uh, managing people's schedules, uh, allowing them to, for instance, work Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. So over a two week period, they're five days in the office, but they're always alternating days. 
And then in adjacent spaces, which would normally be empty uh, on those days, what we can do is set up a parallel pattern that starts Tuesdays and Thursdays one week, and then Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays the next. So we can be very creative on how we want to get people into the office. So one of the things that we, you know, that Archibus has done is added a new feature into the employee tables that allows us to set some additional capabilities. One of those, of course, is what is the return to work status? So here you can see an example of employees coming in on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, and we've assigned those seats to those six people um, on those particular days. At the same time, we have a group of people that are working on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and then Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and they will be sitting in the opposite seats. So they're all safely distanced. They meet the criteria that you'll see in the software in a few seconds for social distancing. And that way we get the maximum use out of the space until such time that we can get everybody back into the office. Of course, there are other things that we can do. And one of the things that we can do is just designate specific days. So we can actually say for specific employees, what days will they be in the office? Maybe they're in the office on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And again, setting up a similar kind of pattern every week, the same, you know, the same thing, Tuesdays, Thursdays. On the opposite weeks, we have a different group of people that will be in on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So it's not the same thing that we saw before where we rotate from odd even days, if you will, on the week. This case, we are just designating those days. And again, the same pattern uh, goes where we're not having overlapping spaces and we're making sure everybody's socially in safe distance. Of course, there are a bunch of people that will just always be remote. So we can actually mark which of those employees will be that. And it's just a setting or a field in the, in the database that's now been added to make sure that we know that those employees will always be working from home going forward. I'm a good example of that. If you were talking to me when I was at Archibus, you know, pre-pandemic, I would have been in the office, you know, 99% of the time working from home on a, you know, rare occasion. Now, because I work for this new company, Horizon, that I've been familiar with for a long time, I'm here in Massachusetts, they're in Ottawa, I'm not commuting every day, so I'm always going to be home. And I'm sure some of my other coworkers who live closer will make similar kinds of decisions. We can designate other employees that will come in as needed and don't really need a permanently assigned seat, they just may need the ability to book a desk, in which case, they're designated as hoteling, and they will have access to those particular stations, the ones outlined in green, that will specifically be used for hoteling purposes. So we have six stations to accommodate more than six people, and as long as no more than six need to be in the office in one day, we, we will be able to accommodate them. So again, this is a way of Archibus helping us maximize the use of space based on some of these new guidelines that we're all trying to adhere to in the coming months until such time that things can return to a different status. So let's take a look at how does Archibus help us set that all up? And this is very simple. This is some new feature that was added into the space console that directly allows us to add social distance circles to the floor plans. So we'll go in and look at you know, one of the floor plans. Uh, let's think of a floor plan that has traditional seating, your standard set of workstations. So we can see a big cubicle farm here if you like. And you know, we're gonna look at it by department, we can look at it by occupancy, we can look at it by a lot of different features that are all available to us in Archibus. What we want to know is how safe is it to work in that environment? And one of the things we can do is activate the social distance circles, which is a feature that was added in version 25.2 of the software. That's a new icon that you see there. You simply turn those on and it uh, basically places circles uh, for each of the employees. And what's nice about that is we can set a specific target for the entire portfolio. And just so you know, our target is um, four feet radius or eight feet diameter, because we want to be super safe. And if you take a look at the workstations in red, anytime two workstations touch, they are highlighted in red. And that would be true for the adjacent circles that you see all throughout the floor plan. 
Now, one way to do that is disable the alternating workstations, but another way to look at it is maybe we wanna set a different kind of target. So what we're gonna do is go to that particular building, which is the uh, TGD Technology Center and what we're, our Singularity Research Lab, I'm sorry, gotta get my building straight here. And what we're gonna do is modify what the safe distance target is. And we're gonna go from the default to three and a half feet. So it usually sets at zero, which means it goes default. Otherwise we can designate it. And if it's three and a half feet, we have a seven foot diameter and that's fine. You'll notice that all the circles are green. So technically speaking, if we choose to, we could literally fill all of those workstations if, if, if required. Naturally, we may want to be safe and still alternate them. Now let's look at a more agile work environment, which is more of a you know desk booking kind of scenario where the seats are more densely packed. And what we'll do is maybe look at one of our particular departments that is highlighted uh, in this section up here. This is all part of the customer support group for operations. You can see we've already done some modifications and disabled a couple of the rooms and that's all uh, great, but we still want to take advantage of the spaces on the floor plan. So one of the things that we can do is specifically designate and I'll again drop the target down uh, for that particular building and change it from the default to the same kind of like three and a half feet. And you'll see that it gives us a little extra leeway. Some of the spaces, you know, will turn green, but the only way we can really deal with this is we need to change the status of those rooms. So we'll actually select some of the alternating rooms so that we can literally disable them and make them not available for use. So we'll click on these rooms for our hoteling purposes. You saw the result in the screenshot. Now we'll just show you how we got there. And what I wanna do is modify all the rooms at the same time. So one of the nice features is that we can turn it to do not use, and we can also verify that they are not hotelable. So that way they don't appear in any searches for hotelable rooms. And when I'm done, you can see that now all of those spaces are clearly separated and those are now available for hoteling purposes. So that kind of gives us an idea of how Archibus can help us use all of that back to work planning, accompany that with social distancing, give us the ability to have people in the office, even though they're not in the office at the same time, they are not socially distanced, not safe. But since this person might be in Tuesdays and Thursdays, and this is Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, there is no way that the two will uh, run into each other, um, at least according to the work plan that we've set up. And so this is a great feature that I think Archibus added that made it very easy to help everybody do the planning that they need. So if we go back to workforce enablement, that all means that we want to be able to use the mobile devices to go out and, you know, book workspaces uh, easily for the employees and to, you know, verify that we've done that task. So let's go ahead and, you know, set up a, just a quick video. We're gonna do this off of our tablet in this case. And what I'm gonna do is essentially, you know, do the workspace booking. We're gonna zoom into a section of the floor plan. And again, we can see the rooms that are available uh, in our floor plan. So we grab one of those rooms, we select the date, we identify whether it's for ourselves or for somebody else. In this case, we're gonna book it for myself. And we're gonna go ahead and complete the booking. And like I said before, we can easily review any of the bookings that we have. So we can see our history plus any future bookings that we've set up. And if we go to October 7th, we can see that we've set up that booking and you can actually go in and uh, view the details and if need be, cancel it. So very simple. The 
employee empowerment, very easy. It, it's providing a catalog of services, which in this case includes workspace booking so that employees can come to work. And when they need to be in the office, they can book a station. Now, there are some things that Archibus has done that I think are very helpful, because obviously one of the things that we want to do is make sure that we're con you know, continuously cleaning the space, and especially around those spaces that we've done booking with, so where there's a constant rotation of people coming and going. One of the things that Archibus has done nicely is that it set up a new workflow rule that will set up a cleaning ticket for every time a, a hoteling station or a a workspace is booked and what it does is the the station's booked and then the system automatically drag, uh, creates a work ticket to clean the space and at the same time it sets the status of the room to requires cleaning so it, it disables the room from being available for booking until the room is cleaned and when the ticket is closed out the room is reset to available and you know we're all set so the Ticket is generated, the ticket is complete in that way for those cases where you have employees coming in Mondays and Wednesdays and Fridays or Tuesdays and Thursdays or whatever the case may be, you can set up tickets to make sure that somebody goes down and, and disinfects and sprays out the area quickly. Of course, for those people that are in the office all the time, let's say they're gonna be there five days a week, they may be responsible for cleaning their own areas, but at least this is something that'll help uh, give you some uh, additional safety protocols for your employees. Now, uh, one of the other things that it does, of course, is, and just to see what happens, is the system will generate a cleaning workspace ticket. It'll be tied to a specific room. It'll be assigned to a supervisor. And as we said before, for every time you generate a ticket, it will actually change the status of that room to not available until, or in this case requires cleaning, until such time that that cleaning's done, the room is not uh, completed. So they'll complete the work. And all that requires is a simple workflow that you know requires the work be issued, managed, and completed in a timely fashion. So again, Archibus is pretty straightforward on how it generates uh, its tickets and it's, it's very helpful to have that. And I thought this was a great addition for folks to work with. Now there's a lot of new information that Archibus is making available to us. So we wanted to make sure that we added it to the equation. So they did a nice job of creating a new homepage that focuses on all the metrics and statistics that you need to be worried about in terms of getting people back into the office. So like anything else, you might wanna know what your headcount targets are, what, uh, you know, how are you doing with the various stages of people being, um, on site, you know, what, how many employees are assigned to being remote and what are, you know, your current overall occupancy target. So if we take a look, for instance, at our on-site employees for phase one, we can look at the different buildings. We see it, we have a total of 65 people of which 39 are in uh, the NCO5 and 26 are in the SRL building. So based on where we are, we can measure how effective we are to meeting some of the targets that we've set uh, based on return to work, you know, requirements. And we can adjust based on any things that we discover. Now, another thing that I just wanted to recap on quickly, remember is early on in our series, we talked about the employee uh, health and safety edition, which would be very useful in the COVID scenario. And so what we wanted to do was to be able to identify where these problems were occurring and what buildings they might be happening. And what's nice is that we can not only you know identify the sites across you know a geographic area, but we can go right into the buildings and look at various floor plans to see where those you know where those items are actually occurring. So what rooms are being affected, and by by default, which employees are being affected. So that means we can keep track of every time we've identified somebody with COVID symptoms, and use that as kind of our own internal tracing mechanism and Further still, we can set up programs to help make sure that we train our employees on things like cleaning their work areas or maybe doing social distancing practices. Because again, it's a constant process that I think we're gonna be going through for a long time. And Archibus is a product that can help you achieve some of those goals and results. 
So in summary for today's session, we, you know, we talked about planning for employees to return to work. It's not just a simple matter of opening the doors and, and knowing uh, that everybody's gonna show up or decide to. You kind of want to know as much as you can. Employees can help designate which ones want to work from home. You can identify those that need to be in the office and ways that you can protect their safety. You want to make sure that you have tools that will give them better lines of communication with you so that they can book stations or request service as needed from the facilities organization. And finally, there are ways that Archibus can help monitor the employee health and safety uh, so that if there are situations where you identify uh, any sort of contamination, you can search out those areas and identify the people that might have been affected, making it safer for everybody involved. So with that, let's open it up for questions. And uh, Shoshana, if you can pop in, are there any questions that have been submitted? Um, if so, please read, and then maybe let's just open up the microphone and let everybody chat if need be. All right, so everybody is unmuted. If you have a question, just raise your hand and we'll let you uh, speak. The first question um, was from somebody who had joined late and they weren't able to find the survey. Um, so that has been resent to you. Um, if anybody else had trouble finding the uh, survey, let us know and we will send that to you uh, after today. First question other than that was, what modifications or customizations are you seeing clients asking for in their space management module since COVID started? I think you're on mute. Shoshana, can you hear me? I believe so. I think we got you back. Okay, good. All right, so go ahead and reread that question because I was trying to get unmuted. <laughs> okay. Um, what modifications or customizations are you seeing clients asking for in their space management modules since COVID started? Well, I think actually Archibus has done a good job of accommodating those. One was the social distancing. I think that was a big thing a lot of people were trying to figure out. Um, so that was an addition that Archibus actually took care of them. Uh, themselves. The other is again something that Archibus did is made it made it easier for the uh, space planners to designate which rooms are hotelable. Uh, previously, you had to set up a separate view with a CAD plan so that you could mark them visually. Now that's all done in the space console. But I haven't seen anything else done in space management other than what Archibus has done because I think they've accommodated everything that people have asked for in terms of how they are addressing back to work. That's great. Um, I don't see any other questions. I will just wait and see if somebody written. Oh. Um. No. I will wait then. All right, we'll wait another second, and if there's no questions, then we'll just proceed to the completion of the uh, of the session and, and just get you caught up with what's happening next. In the meantime, I'll disable my camera here. So I guess if there's no other questions, um, nobody wants to raise their hand, then let's go ahead and uh, continue. And if you do have a question, don't don't be afraid to jump in. So our next session will be episode six, which is essential asset tracking with asset management. We will be meeting on Thursday, October 29th at 12 p.m. Um, Eastern Daylight Time. And that's probably the last time we can use EDT for this year as November 1st, I think is the end of daylight savings time. And of course, if you do have questions between now and then, don't forget to send them to the Ask Greg at Horizon Solutions. In the meantime, I want to remind everybody that you know Horizon does have a YouTube page. If you just type in Horizon, you'll find it and it'll be easy for you to go to. If you click on playlists, you'll see the list of videos that we've posted already and this one will be added to the list. So don't hesitate to review this material with your coworkers and share the link with other employees or 
other cohorts that you might be uh, familiar with. So with that, I think we are finished. I take it there's still no questions, Shoshana? No, all good. All right, well, thank you everybody for joining us. And uh, Shoshana will resend the survey and please uh, be sure to fill that out to us. So thank you everybody, bye-bye. <laughs>